Here's the Earth's water cycle, where the water comes from and where it goes. It seems simple, but it's become more complicated over time. Rain or snow, this once pure water picks up tiny particles from everything it touches, absorbing the pollution from your car to the emissions from factories. As water flows, it not only absorbs elements from the Earth, but it also grabs dangerous contaminants produced by man. Even though they're very small particles, research confirms that these toxins may increase the risks of many diseases. Classified as raw water, your local water plant takes it through a treatment process, meeting outdated EPA standards. Chlorine or ammonia is injected to kill dangerous bacteria, reducing biological outbreaks. The byproducts of this creates hundreds of dangerous chemicals that are not even regulated. At times, you may have more chlorine in your tap water than what is considered safe in a swimming pool. Then the highly controversial drug fluoride is added to over 70% of America's water. We explained all of that to get to this. The treatment plant is not required by law to get the water even close to being pure. In fact, it is only one grade higher than raw or utility grade. Here's why. Over 90% of the treated water is used for irrigation, fire hydrants, and other big industries. This means only about 10% will ever make it inside a home where it really counts. And since we're all connected to the same water lines, we all get the same low-grade water. It's just one step up from raw because our water is only as good as the biggest customers need. As water moves from the plant to your home, it may pass through hundreds of miles of old pipes containing elements like lead and other metals that dissolve into your water. But if you're like most people, we turn on the tap and we trust. <laughs>